Today we find out the answer to that burning question, who's faster, big versus small, drop bars versus flat bars, putting the plus bike up against the very popular gravel bike. Today you join me in a place called Camford Heath in Poole in Dorset, known for being the largest heathland in Dorset, where we will put these two bikes to the test and find out which one is faster. The course will consist of three sections. First, the gravel straight, a well-maintained gravel trail, pretty much flat as a pancake, but with a bunch of large puddles to dodge on this occasion. Next up is the gates and mud section. This section consists of some narrow single track, some bog, wet, sandy conditions, and of course, gates. Four gates in total on this course and something to test them cyclocross skills. The third and final section of this course is the final push, consisting of a short gravel climb, fast flowing gravel and sand trails with small sections of boggy puddles. The final gate and then a final draggy climb to the finish line. First up on the course is the plus bike. The bomb track beyond plus ADV. Steel frame, carbon fork, the Jones H-Bar. A dynamo hub that is on both bikes and will be unplugged for this ride. SRAM GX Eagle 12 speed group set with a 32 tooth chambering up front and a 9 to 50 tooth cassette on the rear. But most importantly, the tyres, the 29.3 inch Max's Chronicle, a fast rolling bike packer's favourite. And to stop them, SRAM guides hydraulic brakes. Let's see what the bomb track can do. <laughs> Next up, the gravel bike, the Sonda Camino. Titanium frame, carbon forks, 700c wheels with 50mm Maxxis Rambler tires. Tram Force one by gearing with a 42 tooth chainring up front and 1142 cassette on the rear. And Tram Force brakes. It's time to see what the gravel bike can really do. Let's go.
Right guys, so that is the two laps complete. And now I'm very intrigued of which one is going to be the fastest. Just out of feeling. Now I didn't pay attention to what the final like time was or anything, but just like feeling, I feel overall the gravel bike. There was definitely some times where I had to sort of back off on the gravel bike because there was lots of like muddy puddles and it was a bit sloshy and you were sort of losing the grip. But difference, I think, right, from a gravel bike to like a plus bike or even just a mountain bike, it's not actually the tires. That is quite a big part of it, but just like the positioning, because there was a few sections where you just feel a bit uneasy on the gravel bike. You're sort of going into things a bit like, Ugh! whereas on the plus bike or a mountain bike, just having that sort of wider bar, that sort of stance, definitely feels a bit faster in areas. But if I had to guess right now from what is going to be the fastest overall, I think the gravel bike might have taken it. There was a couple bits where I had to sort of slow down. There was a horse, so I had to sort of slow down. But I don't think it cost me too much time. And I still think it might have beat it. But data is king. So let's head um, back home and let's take a look at this data. Right guys, so we are back and I've got all the results here out. First of all, I apologize if you can hear like loads of noise because it's just absolutely hammering it down right now. It's a big storm and it's just uh, yeah, smashing. So if the audio is really bad here, I apologize. But we have got the results versus the bomb track versus the Sonda. The first section was the gravel straight. Now this, this section, nice and smooth, there was a slight, not a headwind, but it was like a cross headwind. And this route, this section of the route is 0.84 of a mile or 1.35 kilometers. And the bomb track did this in three minutes, 25 seconds. Versus the Sonda, which did it in three minutes, 12 seconds. So the Sonda there was 13 seconds quicker. That makes sense. It was a very open gravel section. You could get on the drops. You could be a bit more aerodynamic, which definitely helped. I could just like noticeably feel that as well while riding, especially with that cross headwind. On the bomb track, you're much more upright. You know, it's obviously gonna be slower. And it was 13 seconds slower. The next section was the mud and gate section. Now this section is 1.21 miles or 1.94 kilometers. And the bomb track did this in six minutes, 54 seconds, okay? The Sonda did this in seven minutes, 02. So the bomb track was eight seconds quicker. Now this section is like the rougher part and this is the bit where you kind of feel like you're holding back a bit on the um, Sonda, on the gravel bike, you're just kind of going into things a bit uh, and there's, you know, there's a few sections there that were just a little bit on the uh, sketchy side but that's not a huge difference but it is eight seconds over just over a mile. So the bomb track wins that section and that means it's one all so far, bomb track versus the Sonda. So the third and final part of this route was the uh, final push. This section is like the longest section. It's 1.70 miles or 2.7 kilometers. And the Sonda did this in nine minutes, six seconds. Pretty good. And the bomb track did this in nine minutes, 20 four seconds. The Sonda here was much, much quicker. 18 seconds quicker. Now this section was very sort of open. There were a few sections here where there was big puddles and it was a bit slippery and stuff, but overall there was more straight line top speed on this section and the Sonda wins that by 18 seconds. I've also done this as like a full loop so we can see the final times and the differences. So the full loop in total was 3.90 miles or 6.2 kilometers. The Sonda did this in 19 minutes 57 seconds. The bomb track however was lagging behind a little bit with 20 minutes 19 seconds. So the Sonda was 22 seconds quicker. Now obviously it's not like a properly scientific test but that's sort of some real world example of the gravel bike versus the plus bike. And uh, the Sonda on this occasion just nips it to the finish line. 
So that was the bomb track, the plus bike versus the gravel bike. Sonda wins on this occasion. If you'd like to see some more of these comparison videos of the bomb track versus the Sonda, let me know and we'll um, do it over some different courses. Right, that was the bomb track versus the Sonda. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give us, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and consider subscribing if you're not. And uh, until the next time, keep smiling, enjoy the adventure.